For this exercise, you're only going to have to use your black arrow selection tool. You have three different little obstacles, little puzzles to figure out. For the top one, you're going to move each of the coins, one on top of one another, so that they're stacked in order from biggest to smallest. Now when you do this, you'll notice that some of the objects are in front of them and some of them are behind. So we're going to have to adjust the arrangement for each object. So let's take this quarter and move it on top of this one. Now it's behind there, so I'm going to have to go to my object, arrange, and then bring it forward until I can see it. So let's bring forward. Just once did that. Same way, and repeat this process until you get all the coins stacked one on top of another and you can see them in order. Remember that we have a keyboard shortcut in order to bring objects forward or move them back. In this case to bring it forward is the command close bracket. So I'm going to hit command and close bracket until you see the pennies on top. This one is finished. This next one will involve the bounding box and we're going to rotate these objects until they align with the gray one behind there. So I'm going to click on the object just once and then I can move my uh, cursor right outside the edge of it until I see the curved arrows. So now when I click and I drag I want it to align perfectly with the gray outline so you can't see it behind there. Same way with each of these. Click and drag and turn. Click and turn until everything lines up. That one looks good. And then finally we'll click and turn this object as well. <clears throat> this last one, you're going to move these objects and so that they fill up the appropriate shape that's cut out. Notice that some of the shapes are different sizes, so we're going to adjust the scale of these objects. Let's take this one first. I'm going to place it on top, and notice that it needs to be a little bit taller and skinnier. So once I have it on top, I can use move my cursor until it's on top of one of the uh, little dots on my bounding box, and move it up until everything matches up perfectly. Same way for this circle. Remember if we hold down the shift key it'll constrain our proportions and I can move the circle without accidentally turning it into an ellipse. And It's okay if you're off by just a little bit. Same way with the triangle. Place it on there and resize it. Let's do the star. If you don't get it right the first time, that's okay. Keep at it so you get everything just, just the way it should be. Like I said, you may not get it perfect, but that's okay. And finally, the rectangle. We're going to move it into place and then resize it to fit. And now you've completed this project. Once it's done, print it on our color printer by going to File, down to Print, and then choosing the, the appropriate printer from here.